Now, policymakers need to take a long-term view as the global economy is being underpinned by what Singapore Senior Minister Tarman Chanmugaratnam calls fundamental uncertainties. He says issues such as the pensions crisis have been ignored as fiscal authorities aren't ready to think of policies that change the economy's long-term trajectory. Mr. Tharman was speaking at the Institute of International Finance annual membership meeting over in Washington after receiving an award for his contributions to the global economy. Trade tensions and domestic political strains in various countries were some concerns that Mr. Tharman highlighted when discussing challenges in the global economy. There's fundamental uncertainty now because of the not so much the trade conflict, because that creates an immediate short-term uncertainty, but the technological rifts that are now part and parcel of the global landscape. And then you have the slow burn issues. I'm talking here about the confluence of many different uncertainties, but you have the slow burn issues. The most neglected is probably the pensions crisis. Uh, it's coming. Uh, it's, a, it's a looming crisis across the advanced world and defined contribution and that democratization of uh, pensions hasn't worked out the way it was meant to. When discussing Singapore's response to such global challenges, Mr. Tharman said it works continuously to keep one step ahead of the game. He said that Singapore constantly looks at the rest of the world to observe best practices and partners with global companies to commercialize new innovations. But social urban policy plays a part too. As a society, how do you keep an inclusive society where you have many ethnicities, many religions, and where you have the traditional problems all over the world of rich and poor increasingly being segregated. So we've avoided it by creating housing neighborhoods for the vast majority of our population that are mixed, that are integrated. Mr. Tharman, along with Bank of England Governor Mark Carney, are the inaugural recipients of the Distinguished Leadership and Service Award by the Institute of International Finance. Mr. Tharman, who also chairs Singapore's Central Bank, adds there are growth opportunities in the global economy, but these could become problems. We have to accept the reality now of a multipolar world, an ascendant China, but there are several other challenges. If we don't invest adequately in Africa and the emerging world, we have a global issue. If you just take Africa alone, the size of the young population that is about to enter the workforce is about three times larger than China at its peak. And if we don't sort that out, we get a compounding of problems that are already beginning to show up. Forced migration, the health pandemics, plus the fact that you lose out on the opportunity of a very large growth market for the world economy. One way to achieve this is for policymakers to focus on regeneration and longer-term investment of public goods to benefit a larger segment of society. This, he says, will require trust to be created and earned with policies for inclusive growth.